Facebook, YouTube, Twitter friends. Good to see you all hanging out today. Uh, I'm Brent Weaver, Cloudways Maverick, hanging out uh, with Michael Donovan today. He is a content creator, a publisher. He's got a business that's doing multiple six figures uh, in terms of ad revenue. And today we're going to be talking about how he's been able to create a ton of success with his publishing platform on top of Cloudways. So Michael, welcome to our program. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it. Happy to be here. So, Michael, maybe you could just describe your business real quick for our audience. What's kind of the the core business that you have that you're you're publishing on top of uh, Cloudways? Yeah, happy to. So, my my primary business is a what now I refer to as a content site, um, but at the time it was a blog, and I, I guess I didn't really understand what a blog was uh, then. But essentially, what I'm doing is putting out content uh, that ranks high in Google. Ninety percent of my traffic is organic. Uh, and I'm using those page views to monetize them uh, with display ads. And so display ads account for about probably 90 to 95% of my revenue now. I have some uh, revenue coming from affiliates, uh, Amazon Associates. The rates are pretty bad over there. And I, you know, I haven't spent a ton of time trying to optimize there. Uh, most of my focus has been on content. So I would say I'm in the content business and, and that site, uh, which I'm happy to share is in the tech niche, um, is the primary driver of the business today. Very cool. So today we're going to be talking about how Michael has leveraged Cloudways to help him achieve his business goals. Michael, can you give us kind of the, the highlight reel of where your content site is at today in terms of traffic and revenue and, and what this means? Because I, I want our, our viewers today, if you want to ask questions about what Michael's doing with his content site, to get a little bit of context about what kind of business we're talking about here that's running on top of Cloudways. Yeah, so uh, the site is... To a little over two and a half years old at this point. Uh, this month, it should do uh, close to 600,000 page views uh, for the month of May. And it's tracking uh, to about 22,000 um, in, in revenue. We can talk about most of that. Uh, this business is amazing. Most of that is profit. So we can get into you know, some of the expenses, which Cloudways is one of them, but it's extremely low when you look at any other business. I can't imagine um, having expenses that low. Uh, but those are the stats today. It took a while to get here. It wasn't overnight, uh, but it's kind of incredible that a site with you know 250 posts can can have that kind of output. So 600,000 page views, $22,000 like USD a month in in revenue, and it's currently on Cloudways. Can you give us a context of like which plan you're on in Cloudways, just so we understand you know what is some of the overhead or costs uh, associated with running the site and, and maintaining it? Sure. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm currently with, uh, I have digital ocean. It's a four gigabyte plan. I think I pay $42 and 50 cents a month. Uh, it's a pay as you go plan. Uh, what I like, you know, we can get into some of the specifics around why I decided to move to Cloudways, but what I liked about it as you start to grow and even earlier on, uh, you can easily scale it up, right? So I can click one button and I can move from four gigs to eight gigs if I needed the space or I needed the, the capacity. So uh, that's the plan I'm on today. The server is located in New York because I'm out of Boston. Um, and I've been with Cloudways for eight months now with that site and had zero issues. Uh, so, so far, everything's been great um, and happy with that decision to move over uh, at this point. Awesome. Dude, I wanna, one of the, the catalysts for this conversation was this epic tweet that you put out. You said, here's how I finally got my mobile and desktop site speed scores to improve. So this is kind of a benchmark that you had taken on your content site, um, you know, from, from the 91 to essentially getting to a hundred on Google page speed insights. Uh, so let's, let's talk about page speed. So, so before you were scoring a, a performance uh, of 91 and you were able to, to improve that, obviously site speed has a direct correlation with like on page, you know, load times, balance rates, um, whether people stick on your site, also how Google looks at your site in terms of SEO. Um, what were some of the things that you did to achieve this? Yeah, so I want to caveat this by saying uh, up front, if you're very, very new to content sites, don't worry too much. I think it's worth getting on Cloudways day one. We can talk about why that is. I think the lowest plan is $10 a month. I mean, over the span of a year, you're paying $120. It just it makes sense to be on Cloudways at the very beginning. But don't get bogged down in the technical details. You know, focus on publishing content. But as you start to grow and you start to build an audience and people are coming uh, in, in droves, this is a key, one of many key factors that Google uh, looks at 
uh, in terms of user experience, right? And they want to give their users, if you're searching something, they want the user to see that content quickly. They don't want them bouncing off the page and site speed's a big part of that. So what I did was two things. I moved my site to Cloudways, uh, which has you know an obvious impact. There's one thing you can't change, right? Like your page is being served from somewhere. And if that page is not being served quickly, no matter what you tinker with or change, you're never going to improve that piece of it, right? And so Cloudways clearly has you know, very quick load speeds in terms of, of the, the content being served. And then the other thing I did was I installed something called Flying Scripts. This is a free WordPress, uh, WordPress plugin. And what that does is it just delays certain JavaScript on your page until the user has an interaction. Uh, and so that's huge because JavaScript is notorious for being a very heavy resource on your site. And it can cause your site speed to plummet especially if you have ads. And I don't think a lot of people, or maybe some folks know, but I, I wasn't aware that you can reach out to your ad provider and even ask them to delay ads uh, for a certain amount of time. It's usually three or four seconds before first interaction as well. But moving to Cloudways and in delaying some of that JavaScript got me from, I think I was in low 50s on mobile and probably like 70s in, on desktop to you know, near as be, as good as I'm hoping to get it. I'm not going to play with it anymore at this point. But. <laughs> there's there's the point of like diminishing returns. Yes. Like when you're at a hundred and Google, you know, it's like, hey, cool. I can't I can't get any better than this on on desktop because I think this is what uh, mobile on the left, desktop on the right. Correct. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So so you were coming in from from the 50s and 70s up to 91 and 100 between the you know, looking at the actual server infrastructure you were hosting on and then the actual code that was being loaded um, when, when the pages were being requested. So making some, some tinkering uh, in both of those areas. Correct. Yeah. And I think some of the key things that I defer are like if you're using Google fonts, people probably don't realize that Google fonts is actually a pretty heavy JavaScript that needs to load when you load your site. So if you just defer that until first interaction, you're going to get that first paint which is huge towards your scores. And then of course your server and where your hosting is coming from, uh, you know, in terms of delivering that content, those things for me in combination gave me what I needed. And again, I won't, I'll focus on content now, but this piece, I wanted to solve this now that the site's been, got to the level that it's at to make sure that that user experience is, is good. Yeah. And even just thinking about, I mean, you mentioned earlier that you're on the DigitalOcean $42, $42 a month plan serving 600,000 page views a month. I mean, I think that gives people some context of, you know, how, how much you can actually grow a content site before you have to really, you know, I mean, you're not even scaling up to even you know, a fraction of the largest servers available on Cloudways and you're, you're running a very successful business and, and website on top of that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an important point. And the way I look at it now is my site, you know, you don't have to be earning $20,000 a month to care about uptime because if your site goes down, you know, it, my site might make $700 a day, give or take now. If my site's down for even half a day, that's a year of hosting out the window, right? And that's with Cloudways at $42. And so if you go with a Bluehost or one of these other uh, hosting providers that maybe are, you know, they scale for a lot of people, but maybe they don't work very well for uptime and you have a site that's earning well, you know, that could be a huge hit. It's not worth that cost, that, that risk reward piece doesn't really add up there. And so I wanted a good provider on the hosting side that also ensured that my site was up because every second my site is up, I'm earning money. Every second that it's down, you know, I'm losing. Uh, and so to pay $42 and 50 cents a month for four gigabytes to serve, you know, over half a million page views, uh, is a no-brainer. I think for most people, starting out day one a little bit smaller at that ten dollar a month, and then being able to click a button to upgrade as you grow with your site, it, it just makes sense. And you don't have to go through the hassle of oh, I got to move over, I got to migrate, um, and you have to do all these steps starting there day one. I, I'm a big proponent of, and I believe in cloud. Like there, I've did a lot of research on other hosts, I've uh, listened to a lot of recommendations, uh, and so far it has proven that the, you know Cloudways for me for the last eight months, I, I haven't had a single issue. I was saying to you, Brent, earlier, I haven't had a talk directly to anybody, which I love. That means things are going very well. I, I think we were, we were mentioning when we tapped you uh, for this this interview, I think we, we spent more time talking to you like in one-on-one -on -one calls than you had than you had spent uh, talking to Cloudways up until that point, which is a pretty cool, you know, I think that's a, that's a, it's a fun brag point um, in there. Uh, speaking of, I, I know you mentioned a couple of hosting providers there. Um, is there, w w were you always on Cloudways with your website? So I started out on, on Bluehost um, and I was paying 
uh, just under four dollars a month. And I think for me then, you know, I didn't know if my site was going to be successful. I didn't know if I was going to be able to stick with it for the amount of time that I've stuck with it. And so at that point, I just was really focused on the lowest cost, right? Um, but as you start to learn more and more about hosting and how it works, you don't need to be super technical to realize that Bluehost is fine for a certain segment. But if you're going to start out and the difference of, of Bluehost is $4, whereas Cloudways is $10, you're talking, you know, a $6 difference month over month and not having to migrate over. I think it's worth it starting out. But Bluehost is a lot of their stuff is shared. And I don't know if people realize that. So when you're on, when you're being hosted by Bluehost, there might be a hundred other websites on your server. And depending on those websites and their traffic loads, you may be negatively impacted by that. So if that, if some website that's on your server is getting a ton of, a big spike in traffic and someone else is trying to reach your site, you're negatively impacted because that other site on your server is getting a ton of traffic. Um, and so once I kind of learned more about this and the expense is just so low to have a, a solid host with good uptime and great speed, that's when I decided to make the move. All of my new sites um, will be, I'll just start out day one on, on Cloudways. And what's amazing about that too, is I have a dedicated server with Cloudways. And so my wife started a blog, she's on Cloudways. And then the, the site that my brother and I started, Niche Twins, is also on Cloudways. So I have three different sites with th that one server. And as they grow, I will probably get a dedicated server or move things around and adjust things a bit. But for now, it makes no sense. So I'm paying $42.50 to host three different sites at the moment. Yeah, I could I could imagine as those websites take off that they should they should be on your or or your core business right as that even gets gets bigger just to make sure that that's that's kind of in its own uh, its own sandbox so to speak for um, sure and, and I think that shared hosting is a key differentiator and one of the reasons why I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Cloudways where you can you know whether you're you're with WP Engine or whether you're with Bluehost you know, you, you kind of in this shared environment, like how many, what kind of resources do I have? I don't really know. I know I pay, you know, X dollars for so many sites, but they don't really give you that clarity in terms of how much resource you have. And so I think being able to have those servers um, partitioned kind of on your, uh, within your account on Cloudways gives you a lot of clarity in terms of what you're actually paying for and that it's super cost effective. And one thing you mentioned earlier, Michael, Michael was kind of this opportunity cost. And I, I don't, I think a lot of people that are creating, if you are creating a content site uh, or sites for your clients as an agency, you know, is this a business, right? Are you actually creating a business or is this kind of a hobby, a passion that you're doing? You know, I think you looked at this very much as a business, um, ideally from day one, right? You were like, okay, I want to create a side, you know, some side hustle income or whatever. Um, it's become very successful now, but I think this idea of if it is a business, that opportunity cost of downtime of having to deal with some of those trade-offs that other hosting companies might create um, is, is probably not worth it when you actually look at the, the dollars and cents of it. Yeah. I mean, if you're trying to nickel and dime on hosting, like I said, and then you go down for even six hours and your site is making good money each day, that the economics of that don't make any sense, right? You're going to lose that income that you would have had if your site was up and being served. I mean, the goal with any host in my mind is I just want it to work, right? I don't want to need to be involved too deeply. I just want the, the website to be served when people come to my page and to be served quickly uh, and for the site uh, generally to be up. Uh, and that's been my experience with Cloudways. I know a lot of people have that experience. A lot of key people in this space, if you're active on Twitter, uh, you'll see that, you know, Cloudways more and more is the name that they share of, hey, who are you using to host? And I think that's why, especially when you're when you're running something that is a business, right? It's for me, my mind shift has sh changed quite a bit uh, from when it wasn't earning anything, right? Uh, to now where, you know, as it starts to earn more and more, you start to say, hey, I got to take this. You start to, you know, document things a little bit closer. You start to take things, look under the hood a little bit more, make sure that you're, you know, you have backup to your site, your, your host is good. You start looking at these things, but my message would be just do it day one, pay the $10 a month. Uh, and then you don't have to have this like kind of week or two week period where I was kind of freaking out a little bit that I, things weren't set up the way that they should be adequately to serve the size of the business that I had grown into. One thing that you've created recently, uh, niche twins. So you have an identical twin. Your site has been up for a couple of years. You've, you've inspired your brother to create his own content site and you're kind of teaching him your, uh, your blueprints or your roadmap, right. To, to creating a six figure, uh, six figure a month, uh, content publishing site. Um, tell, tell us a little bit about what your, your vision is with niche twins and how you're helping other content creators achieve some of these similar results. 
Yeah, happy to. So, so Keith uh, is my identical twin. I, we have a text that we go back and forth. And in the early days of my site, I would share updates as I went. And, you know, as he saw each month get better and better, he started to get interested uh, in trying it himself. And to Keith's credit, he didn't really need to be taught. I mean, he, he said, send me your top 10 pages. And he just dissected them, studied them. And then he built his site. So his site is now seven months old. He's, you know, 40,000 sessions a month. So he's very close to getting into Mediavine. Uh, he did that on an age domain, but, you know, he was a very fast learner, but he is using exactly the framework that I, it's very repeatable, um, uh, this space. And so we've always wanted to work on something together. And so nichetwins.com is just where we're documenting. We're sharing monthly updates in terms of what we're earning with the site, how it's growing. Um, we're going to do that month over month. And then the goal is over time to expand this into sharing um, more detail around what we're doing and how we're doing it. Twitter is awesome, Brent, as you know, but the format is the format, right? Sometimes you want to get a little bit deeper. You want to share images. You want to, you know, ex have a lot more text than what you're limited to in a given thread. And so this gives you that opportunity uh, to sort of share some of this in a more digestible way instead of those short snippets. And so I don't know what this will become. It's hosted with Cloudways today. Um, we'll see how it grows over time. Right now, it's all direct traffic, but we got to work on the organic side of it. But it's fun, fun project that we started. Yeah. And I, I always, I mean, I'm a huge fan of these kind of like, you know, these, these like, you know, the, the, the storytelling while you're building the business, I think is always a really attractive thing, right? Cause it can go either way, right? Is this, you know, you're going to be publishing live updates. You're going to kind of show the ups and the downs. Obviously you've got some really, I mean, just seeing this, you know, uh, page views, you know, for April, right. And it sounds like you're on pace to do 600,000 in May. Uh, and it sounds like you're probably going to top this in May, uh, as well. So I think just seeing kind of the behind the scenes of what's working for you to get to this level and sharing that information, I think is a huge contribution to, you know, small business content publishers, people that are interested in this to see, see what it's all about. Um, Keith's also doing his, his kind of updates as well. So he's got his, his page views, a fraction of yours, but I, I feel some, some sibling competitiveness, maybe possibly that, that is, is going to come to fruition here. It's been, it's been a good thing in both of our lives. I think with how competitive we are, because it, it, it always results in us doing more. And in this case, what I like about the site is one, it makes you kind of look at your data a little bit closer uh, and it holds you accountable, right? I put every, how many posts I do every month and I don't want to put up seven, right? I want to put up 15 or 20, right? So it, yeah. it kind of keeps us both competitive. We made a pact to do at least 10 uh, posts a month between the two of us. There's absolutely some competitiveness there um, and between the two of us. And so it's been, it's been fun so far. I think it'll it'll keep us uh, motivated uh, to get results, but uh, so far so good. Very cool. Well, we love seeing the Cloudways name on the uh, on your uh, tools we use page. We'll have to we'll have to have an offline conversation of how we get that on top of the uh, Bluehost option. But I, I did I, I did put you on the spot on that. <laughs> I did that in terms of your level. So I do. There is a place. You know, it depends on what your budget is. Some people to some people, you know, ten dollars a month may. 120 a year, it may actually not be, it may be easier for them to go down to four and risk the, the performance side of it. And so there are other options. M my suggestion to people is just do it with Cloudways if you can, because if your site even does decent, right, your expenses of hosting is going to be small over the course of a year for what your site could earn. Um, yeah. So it makes it easier for sure. Well, I'm sure uh, I'm excited to see the the development and the continued updates on Niche Twins. Uh, just giving you a hard time there, Michael. I know there's there's more uh, there there's 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 options out there. Uh, we I just only have eyes for one. So, uh, Michael, who would you recommend Cloudways for in general? When we think about who an ideal ideal customer, thinking about who you kind of who you are and how you've benefited from it, who would you recommend the platform for? Yeah, it's it's interesting. I mean, obviously, I'm biased. I have a certain lens around. Um, content sites or blogs. I mean, that's, to me, that's a no brainer. If you're in the business of affiliate marketing, display ads, you need your, your site up and, and to be served. But the reality is if you need any website that has high uptime in, in speed, and that's basically every website, right? So I think it works for most people. What I loved about it in my analysis of it is it is a very good mix of great performance and great price affordability, right? So is it the cheapest on the market? No, but you get what you pay for. It is a very fair price for what you get in return. And if you look at some of these other providers, you know, it doesn't take long to research hosting providers. Look at their plans that are comparable to what Cloudways is offering. And you're going to pay twice, sometimes three times as much. And that's on the low end of what you'll see maybe in the market. So you're getting very great performance for your website, 
you're getting it affordably. It's not breaking the bank. And then, you know, you can scale up pretty easily. And I like that concept of it. I don't need to go through any hurdles to just click, you know, I need more space. I need more capacity. Uh, so I think it realistically, it could work for anyone. Uh, as long as you're, you know, take your, take your site seriously, like you said, and treat it as a business, um, you know, Cloudways will work for you. Michael, this has been awesome, man. Thank you for coming and sharing your experience on Cloudways and a little bit about your story. Best of luck to you with your content site. Hopefully we'll see you back maybe in six months where we've got twice the numbers as well. Uh, hopefully we'll have Keith back on the show. You know, how we'll invite him on once he's got some, uh, some really good, good numbers to share as well. And I'm sure niche twins is going to be successful uh, on top of that. So best of luck to you in your, uh, in your, your publishing endeavors. Thanks for having me, Brent. This is fun. And I know I'm sure Keith's chomping at the bit to, uh, to get on, to get on to these, what's this site does well, but we'll be sharing the ups and downs. So I, uh, that's the thing. It holds you accountable, right? I'm just going to share these updates as we go and we'll see what happens, but appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here, Keith. Or I'm sorry. Thanks for being here, Michael. Not we'll the see first Keith time on that's the next happened. One. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I apologize. I was. That's all right. I had I had that on my on, on my mind. So, uh, well, thanks again for being here. And if you all are a content publisher, if you're an agency out there and you're thinking about uh, your hosting platform, or you're currently on another host and you're not getting the performance, you're not getting those 90s and 100s on Google PageSpeed Insights, we'd love for you to take a look at Cloudways. Just go to cloudways.com, sign up for a free three-day trial, and you can check out the platform for yourself. We also offer free migrations, uh, depending on, on what kind of site you're, you're, you're bringing over or how many sites, so definitely reach out to the team uh, to see about your free migration. If you're an agency, you can get up to five free migrations. So check out Cloudways at cloudways.com and we'll see you all in the next video. Until then, I'm Brent Weaver.